What's up everyone, my name is Mike, welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to be talking about hero cards, what I'm thinking, my game plan, my strategy is for hero hybrid cards specifically moving forward. Let's get into this. So hero hybrid cards, these are physical cards that you scan the barcode on the back and you get the digital same mint number and everything like that. And that brings into play what Hero's done with their leaderboards and to be able to really participate and get high up in the leaderboards. I find you really had to spend a lot of money to be able to get good packs and open actually good cards, which I have seemed to fail to do just yet, and to, to be able to chase that leaderboard by trading, by selling. The problem with that is with the Hero platform as it currently stands, you cannot actually sell the digital and get the hybrid, the physical card along with that digital. It's completely separate and you can't even go to eBay and sell your physical along with the digital because eBay will shut you down for selling NFTs or digital collectibles. You can't do that on eBay. But I think that's where the value is going to be because right now I see a majority of collectors on the platform, on Hero, that they are actually going ahead and separating their digitals from their physicals and even those more valuable cards, the three digits, the epics, the legendaries, the mythics, they're separating those completely and they are chasing that leaderboard, which makes a lot of sense to be honest that they do that to be able to get up in the leaderboards to be able to get those leaderboard perks but for me in the future of hero i really see the value in two other things beyond this i think that if you're if your physical is separate from the digital that's going to be the least value the next step up of that is going to be the physical that has been scanned in and it's but the owner actually still has the physical and the digital the same mint number and then above that will be the physicals that have never been scanned in because you can purchase that unscanned card, scan it in, and then you are the first owner of that digital card and that is shown on the blockchain. So I see that as being the more valuable thing right now for Hero in the future as this grows and gets more popularity in my opinion, that's gonna be the way to go. That being said, if you're gonna be chasing those leaderboard, it's gonna be a very expensive game to be able to to purchase those hybrid cards as opposed to just purchasing those digital cards. So how do you go about buying the physical and the digital if you can't go to eBay, if Hero's not doing it just yet? How do you go about that? Well, we have a website, dchrocards.com. That is my collection. You'll be personally buying from me. So if you are looking for the physical along with the digitals, we got lots of cards already up there. Lots more to the list, including three digit legendaries from the events as well as the Batman 700. We have a three digit as well. So there's a lots of valuable cards up there. You go to dchrocards.com and I'd love to know your thoughts. What do you think on the future of Hero? What's gonna be the most valuable cards to be able to get? Do you agree with me? The unscanned will be the most valuable. The scanned, but you still have the digital and the physical together or those that only are selling the physical. Where do you get the most amount of value in the future? That's my opinion opinion, your thoughts, your comments in the comment section below. Like this video if you found it helpful for whatever reason and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching.